Hi, and welcome to Mike's Garage. One of my subscribers reached out to me with a great question and asked, why did I purchase a pair of off-grid inverters instead of like a hybrid inverter? Um, so that's what this video is about. I'm going to kind of go through my reasoning for it, but please leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts if you did the same thing or if you went uh, with a hybrid inverter instead. All right, so as you see behind me, I have two EG4 12,000 XP inverters. Um, they can put out uh, 12,000 watts continuous and uh, they have a good amount of peak to them. So each one, think of it as uh, roughly 50 amps continuous and 75 amps peak, which between the two of them, I should get roughly about 150 amps peak. Plenty to run my shop. Now back to the question. So why did I purchase off-grid inverters instead of hybrids? Okay, let's explain some of the differences. So when you look at hybrid inverters or off-grid, there's definitely some differences here. So we'll talk about the hybrid first and then we'll talk about the off-grid. So hybrid inverters, they really are better. They have additional functionality to them. Uh, they are more weather resistant. So uh, like the EG4 hybrid inverters, you can put them outside. So um, they're sealed, so they don't have all the fans on the side like the uh, off-grid inverters do. So with them being sealed up, you're not going to get dust and contamination on the inside. Uh, it's going to take heat better. It's going to take humidity better. It's going to last longer. And the warranty, I believe, is 10 years instead of the 12,000 XPs, which are only five years. Okay? Amazing units. And if you want to sell back power to the power company, uh, it's, it's a great way to go. Then you have the off-grids. Okay, the off-grids may be a little bit of a different mindset. So this is going to be for someone that uh, they don't want to sell back to uh, the power company, which I'm one of them. Uh, they want um, a significant amount of power output uh, for the return on investment. So meaning um, these two inverters. Okay, I paid $2,500 each from Signature Solar, got a great deal on them. Um, so a pair of them was about $5,000. For a little less than $5,000, I can get a hybrid inverter that has about the same output as one of these. Now, these have a five-year warranty, and you have to put them on the inside, and they're, they're probably not made quite as well as a hybrid, but I've got two of them for the price of one. So when you think about it compared to the off-grid and the hybrid, the off-grid, if you need to put out a considerable amount of uh, amperage, a considerable amount of power coming out of them to, say, power a shop or your house or what have you, off-grid may make more sense, in which that's why I did. Uh, so when I'm looking at, at my solar setup and, and I'm constantly getting new things in because I've got my, my shop off the grid and I'm going to do the same for my house next, uh, which you just got some of the batteries right next to me, uh, but I'll show you that in another video. You got to stay tuned for that. Um, but for me, I need to have uh, a lot of output. I'm not going to sell back to the power company because, I mean, let's be honest, my, my power company isn't the most reliable. Heck, when I unboxed my first inverter, it was during a power outage. So uh, long story short, I lose power here about once a month. It could be an hour, it could be a day, but it's not too reliable. So I'd rather not sell them back any power and just kind of stay disconnected from it just because there's surges, there's brownouts, there's power outages, and I'd rather stay away from all that fun stuff. So, so that's my reasoning. Return on investment. I wanted to make sure that for all the power that I need for my shop and for my house, that I'm able to do it as affordable as possible, but still getting good quality. And then, um, you know, the second reason is obviously ROI because, well, you know, I, I need to make sure that this pays for itself um, in a reasonable amount of time. I mean, the days are gone to where it took 20 to 30 years to pay off your solar setup. If you do it right, it could be six, you know, just depending on how frugal that you are. Um, the, uh, the products that you pick, um, that's pretty much it. So, I mean, you can, you could kind of tell that from my setup. So the 12,000 XPs, 
you figure um, the amount of power that it puts out, 100 amps continuous, 150 peak, and that's two of them in parallel. Uh, batteries, I'm running the lead times. I've got 24 of them, and I've got uh, 60,000 watt hours. Um, solar panels, I've got a mix of used and new. So I'm trying to do my best to keep the price down uh, because at the end of the day, it's, it's you know, does it make sense and um, does, it, does it fit your needs? Uh, oh, one other thing that I wanted uh, to mention, I did say before that the hybrids are a little, um, are a little bit better built than the off-grids, and, and that is true. But look at this scenario. If I have two of these, and I got them for 5000 and say I got the hybrid for, say, 4500 if the hybrid ever went down, then I might have to switch back to the grid, or, or I might have an outage, or what have you. But if I have two of these, the off-grids, and one fails, I still have the other one. So I'm still up and running. Granted, I don't have full capacity but I'm still up and running. So even though I might not get quite the longevity, I have more redundancy. All right. So let's see here. But I, I think that pretty much covers things. Uh, please leave um, please leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. If, if, if I'm completely off base or you'd recommend doing something different, I'm I always love to, to read the comments. Um, I, I, I think it's very uh, constructive. Um, but yeah, and then I'll have links at the bottom. Uh, once again, I picked up the EG4s from Signature Solar. Great deal. So I'll have the links. If you do purchase uh, through the links, I, I may get a small commission. So that just helps me out with my, uh, my solar journey. So uh, if you could do that, I appreciate it. Um, if not, leave a comment or, or, uh, a thumbs up or what have you. I mean, any interaction is, is, is good. And I like hearing from everyone. So that's it. Thanks again for watching Mike's Garage.